Good day, members of the PC Master Race and my regular viewers alike. Welcome to Tech Tickle. You know, usually for my experiments, I will do things like testing thermals or whether or not you need isopropyl alcohol to clean a CPU. But today I'm going to take it one step further and test something a little bit broader. So for those of you not aware, the presidential election in the United States is taking place. I am a Canadian, but I still have great interest in following it. And a lady by the name of Jill Stein, who happens to be a doctor, has said some things about Wi-Fi that really concern me. So she is under the impression that it is dangerous for children and adults alike because Wi-Fi has a tendency to cause cancer. So I figured this would be a great thing for someone like me to test for a number of reasons. Number one, I have a plethora of hardware, all of which will come in handy when trying to test this sort of thing and verify it using good old fashioned science. Secondly, I think I'm particularly well tuned for this test because I am willing to sacrifice my body to prove or disprove a hypothesis. And that is exactly what I will be doing today. I have devised an experiment that we are going to conduct upstairs, at least to begin with. So I'm going to take you up there with the camera, and my girlfriend Kate is going to help me out by filming. Let's check in with upstairs Jeff and see what he has in store. <laughs> okay, so why don't you come over here, and we'll take a look at what we're going to be using for this experiment. So first we have a Bluetooth adapter, and we have a wireless BGN adapter from TP-Link and the newer revision of the same one that also has AC wireless. A DSL modem for good measure, just in case, and a four port slash wireless G router from D-Link. Now you might be saying, how are we gonna power all this stuff? Well, I'm gonna be doing that uh, with these special crystals that apparently Kate picked up from the Dalai Lama. Um, no, I got uh, them from the Dalarama. Oh, okay. But they're magic, right? Well, anyway, they should provide enough electricity to power these devices. Anyway, we're going to get to taping now, so let's uh, let's have a seat. Okay, all right, so we got to start with a lead of tape, I guess, just like that. There, no, no, this isn't going to... Here, let's do this. I'll, I'll put these on, and then we'll put the crystals in the... Uh, oh, that's the pointy side of my head. It's probably not going to be very comfortable. Let's turn these around so that the flat side of these things is against my head. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, I can only already feel the weefies. Put the modem in there. Oh, yeah, that's like, oh, the pain. Oh yeah, Wi-Fi is damaging. Oh God, Wi-Fi hurts. And then on the back of my head, I'm gonna put the, oh, the, the Wi-Fi. Okay. I can't, <laughs> I can't even, ah! Oh, that's painful. Okay, well Jill Stein might have had a point. Wi-Fi is definitely painful. So the plan is to keep this on my head for the next five years exactly like this. How am I gonna do that? All right, I know a way we can speed up this process. Why don't you come down to the desk and we'll take a look at what we can do next. Okay, this is fucking painful, so let's get this over with as fast as I possibly can. I've done some reading on the Microsoft KB database, and uh, I've discovered a way that you can travel forward in time pretty effortlessly. Let's see if we can do that now. You go to the clock here, apparently, and then what you want to do next is you want to click down a few more. Let's just make this faster. Let's just go ahead a few years. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, where are we here? So, okay. All right, we're done. Here we are in the future, and just to make sure that today's date is accurate, I've opened up in a non-tech article that is apparently about the i7-12700K, and it shows a 12% IPC bump over for Skylake. Okay, well, that's uh, that's some sad news. We know that the date is now October 31st, 2021, which is great. And now the next step is to go to the hospital and we're gonna leave these on for the time being and give myself a CT and an MRI and see exactly what's changed, if anything, and if we can detect any signs of deterioration or cancer or growth of other kinds in my brain to validate Jill Stein's theory about the dangers of Wi-Fi. Hang on a bit, I promise I'll be right back the scans in 2021 are actually a lot quicker than they are in 2016 so i'll just be right back and i probably won't even change shirts so i'm not sure if you guys are aware of this but most hospitals in the western world will actually grant you a copy of your scans long before a radiologist ever inspects it now i'm usually not comfortable making a diagnosis but after looking at this particular slice while scanning through i noticed something that was particularly concerning and i figured i would share it with you if you zoom in on this section right here, you can see that I do indeed have a glaring case of console brain and it is only going to get worse 
As you can also see, it is definitely of the Xbox One variety, but it could mutate into PS4 or worse yet, Nintendo Switch at any given moment. I'm not sure how long I have left, but I'm going to make the most of it and see if there's anything I can do to rectify the situation. At present, my symptoms include feeling this deep desire to impregnate the mothers of all of my opponents in Call of Duty, and I'm having difficulty telling the difference between 60 and 30 frames per second. Uh, anyhow, I guess there's really not much else to say, but uh, for posterity's sake, let's throw it back to the desk and close it out. Hey folks, here I am, healthy and happy and ready to film because I actually was able to wind back time the same way I wound it forward using the Windows clock and I actually reset the whole thing to a day before this whole ordeal began, which kind of doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. But anyhow, none of that matters because I'm here and I have some thoughts about exactly why all this occurred. You see, PC gamers usually hardwire their connections from their modem to their PCs, especially if you're an MMORPG player or a CSGO player or a Dota 2 player, you want to try to minimize latency and packet drops as much as you can, and you do that with a hardwired connection. No wireless is absolutely perfect, and we just would prefer not to take the risk. And secondly, we don't use wireless controllers for most serious games, although we will on occasion. Most of the time we'll either hardwire a controller if it's the kind of game that requires it, or in most cases we'll use a keyboard and mouse. As for Jill Stein's specific concerns about the cancer-causing elements of Wi-Fi, all I can say is this. We've got an election cycle in the United States featuring a candidate who could possibly, potentially be a rapist, allegedly, and may have molested some children. We've got another one who is under investigation by the FBI and could maybe, possibly, just be in jail by the time her first year of presidency ends. And we've got a third-party candidate who not only doesn't understand the political significance of Aleppo, but doesn't even know what the fuck it is. And yet somehow you, with your anti-vax, anti-Wi-Fi, anti-GMO quackery, you scare me the most. Anyhow, folks, thanks again for watching. I am at Ofa on Twitter and Ofa on Reddit. Please follow me to stay tuned for all my updates and shit going on and whatnot. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there's going to be all sorts of cool and funny and interesting stuff coming down the pipe. So stick with me. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.